Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Wednesday, July the 26th of 2017. And I just wanted to do a quick little update on um, where I've got things set up here in the office. Uh, we'll start over here at the desk. Um, still got the um, Packard Bell sleeper right there, still working fine. And I even um, gave it a Windows 95-like um, theme for Windows 10. And, well, this is a biggie, folks. <laughs> you asked for it. The Packard Bell corner desktop is now in an actual corner. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> and... To be honest with you, it doesn't look too bad right here. Um, this is in the this is an L-shaped desk right here, and this is in the corner portion of the desk. Still got its Packer Bell monitor here. Still running off of CF cards. Um, the keyboard is in this tray right here. And um, the screensaver all the way actually have it running three operating systems, believe it or not. Um, right now, as you can see, it's running Windows 95. I've got um, two other CF cards here. This one's running um, Windows for Workgroups 3.11, and this one here is, believe it or not, running Windows 98. I will um, do a video later on um, showing both of those OS's running on here. But obviously, Windows 95 is the one that I use the most. So yes, corner desktop is now in the corner. <laughs> and over here, um, where the corner desktop was, was is a um, Dell Optiplex 760. Um, you may recall, um, about a year and a half ago, I made a video uh, of this computer when I was setting it up as my Media Center PC. Well, now I've got a slightly more powerful computer um, doing that, so I have this out here now. Um, this um, is running uh, Windows XP. Um, Windows XP Media Center Edition. The um, It's got a Intel Core 2 Duo um, E7300 clocked at 2.66 gigahertz, 4 gigs of RAM, but since this is Windows XP, it only sees 3.62 gigs of that. Got a NVIDIA GeForce GT610. So yeah, this is, I, I set this up uh, mainly just to play old Windows XP era stuff, um, like old games and whatnot. Um, I haven't decided if I want to keep it like this or not. Um, depends on how, how often I use this. It's only been here for a day or so. I, um, I'm uh, also considering um, installing Linux on here because I really, need, I really do need to teach myself how to use Linux. But I was hoping to do a dual boot of Linux and Windows XP, but unfortunately I don't have any hard SATA hard drives um, larger than 160 gigabytes, and this can only take a... This only has two SATA ports, and I want to keep one for the optical drive and one for the hard drive, and 160 gigs is uh, really not enough to comfortably um, dual boot operating systems with, so... For now, um, I'll keep this as XP only unless I decide to move over to Linux. Depends on how often I'm going to be using this. I haven't figured it out yet. And right here is the um, Gateway 2000 P5133XL, which is currently um, not hooked up um, because, well, the corner Packard Bell right here is just doing everything I need it to do. Um, I had this set up as a Windows 3.1 box, but this runs Windows 3.1 perfectly as well, and it's a little bit more convenient. Don't want to get rid of this, though, but for right now, I'm just going to keep it right here as kind of a decorative piece, I suppose. But anyway, on to um, the biggest change. I'll take a walk over here to where the restroom sign is, and under it is a television. <laughs> 
This is um, my 27 inch Sony Trinitron. I made a video about this a couple years ago. Um, this um, TV was manufactured in October of 2000 and we purchased it in the spring of 2001 at the Montgomery Ward at Carolina Circle Mall. And I believe they were going out of business at the time when um, we bought this. So yeah, um, kind of sad, but um, <laughs> I had this set up on my dresser in the bedroom to play old games on and whatnot, but it, it I bet you it had been like a year since I last used it, so I decided, you know, I need a TV out here, why not move it out here? <laughs> so yes, um, and I even got a little recliner here. Uh, so, um, this is my vantage point. I was currently watching um, my um, eight-hour Rugrats marathon, um, which I had on a Plex server that I'm watching via this um, Roku which gives me my, which allows me to stream video on here from like YouTube, Plex, um, whatnot. Got my Cronova box here um, for playing back um, videos on hard drives and flash drives and whatnot. Only problem is that whenever I turn this on it always defaults to PAL video and obviously this being that this is an American television this, is an in, this uses NTSC and the thing is that every night when I'm finished out here, I have to um, shut the power off to save on electricity cost. And whenever I do that, it loses its settings and automatically defaults to um, PAL. And it's a pain in the neck to try to get through the m menu to switch it to NTSC when it's completely scrambled. <laughs> oh well. Uh, what else do I have here? Um, I've got my um, Sony um, DVD recorder slash VCR. I usually, I really don't do any DVD recording on here. It's mostly just for playback of DVDs and VHS. This is a... Uh, I had the model number a moment ago. Oh, it's on this flap here. It's a Sony RDR... VX525. I actually got this new in the fall of 2007. And it still works fine. And right there, if you can even see it, is my um, Raspberry Pi. It's not focusing. <laughs> and I have RetroPie running on there. I use that for um, playing old console games. And it works pretty well. Um, I actually want to get a um, 3D printed case for it sometime that looks like a Super Nintendo. And speaking of Super Nintendo, well, here's my Super Nintendo right here. Along with my Nintendo 64. And all this is connected via this 8-port um, um, video audio switch box. So um, we can switch it over to the RetroPie. That's the Cronova, and the rest are either off or unused. And back to the Roku. So yeah, um, very, very nice setup out here. Yes, I would prefer to have a um, newer flat screen, high definition TV with HDMI inputs on it, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. And plus, this is a really nice retro TV, and you know how I feel about retro. and. You know, Trinitrons are probably some of the best, if not the best, CRT televisions ever made. As a matter of fact, um, yesterday when I was lifting it off my dresser in the bedroom to move it out here, I actually dropped it. <laughs> Came crashing on the floor, and believe it or not, still worked, completely survived the fall. And um, it just goes to show you how, how nice these things were made back, were, were made back then. So anyway, I'll shut up for now. I know this video was kind of phoned in, but um, I figured you guys would enjoy seeing what I've um, done out here lately. So until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.
Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The addresses are located in the bottom right corner. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.